So I'm Petty Officer Musician Chris Palamountin and uh, originally from South Australia, studied in uh, Adelaide University and then joined the Royal Australian Navy Band 23 years ago. My compositional journey started with transcribing, listening to recordings and then writing them down. Um, and then from there I progressed into arranging with a slightly more creative uh, angle or aspect and then I got up enough courage to compose my own music which I did for the big band, the large jazz ensemble and then uh, finally I thought I was experienced enough to write for the, the wind band, the large uh, ensemble. I started writing for the wind band for the fantastic colours that you can get out from that ensemble just with the added use of the oboes and bassoons and those sort of instruments, plus the uh, range of percussion available within the ensemble. I enjoy the, the whole creative process. It's your own little world that you're creating and you're totally in control of that piece of music and everything that happens within it. So as a composer, having a professional ensemble to work with uh, is a huge privilege. And just being able to go to the musicians and ask them intricacies about how to play their instrument and will this work on your particular instrument and uh, that sort of feedback is really invaluable as a composer. What do I enjoy writing about music? Well I can tell you what I don't enjoy and that's the first run through of a piece. I absolutely dread that and it doesn't get any easier. Almost the performance is a bonus. What I really do enjoy is the creative process. For me, it's the, the actual writing process that I really enjoy. A concerto in three movements, and each movement featuring uh, one of the rhythm section players, and quite long, 12 to 15 minutes, and be really challenging for the soloists and also for the whole band. I came up with a framework for the piece. I have the soloists amalgamated with the band quite smoothly, sections where they would be on their own, sections where it would just be the rhythm section and then sections where they would be out and it would just feature the band. And I, I really challenge myself to be creative and adventurous, uh, rhythmically and harmonically, and I think I've achieved most of those goals. So I actually came up with the name Vertices uh, while helping my son with his schoolwork. He was studying geometry and the, the name vertex, or word vertex came up, which they described as a, a point where two or more lines or edges meet. And I thought, ah, that's a good name for this piece because the soloists uh, and the band are all meeting together and my own musical influences are all coming together in this piece. <laughs> 